Family, real, real short video. I'm, se I'm on 73rd in Kingston. I used to stay on Kingston, 78th in Kingston. A lot of drama, a lot of drama, a lot of drama. All right, check it out. Now, this is the Chicago Public Library South Shore branch. As you can see, it's the address is 2505. Look for yourself. 2505. Now I went in there and I asked them some, for something with that address on it. They just gave me a list of uh, libraries in Chicago. They didn't have anything in particular though with that address on it. But they was filming me all along. So I figured I'd get this on film. Now I wouldn't have did the film had I not turned the corner and seen this here. Now this right here, you know, is proof that they're trying to get rid of the red-blooded Americans. Look how they cracked us up. You see this chair? Man, this is a hot mess, man. You see how they did this? You see how they broke it up? Now how you gonna have a library and don't have anything with the uh, heading of the address on it? But this chair let people know, you know, it's a takeover. Look at this. They broke this motherfucker up. Culture vultures. That's what they are. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You see the 115? I guess the dream is over, nigga. For real. If you look carefully, that's the year Martin Luther King supposed to have been born. And if you look even carefully, you can see my birthday. 25. It, the number is 032595. Look at that. They hate a nigga so goddamn bad. But you see that 115, nigga. Let me see if I can get it closer. Yeah. I'll be catching these motherfuckers, man. Don't shit on me and say it's raining. You see that shit? You see that? Look at that. We got a lot of haters, man. That's what we got. They hate red blooded Americans and shit. These niggas is definitely trying to take over and shit, for real. Real motherfucker talk. So I'm going to keep a piece of this wood to remind me why I'm doing this. Kind of like a treasure hunt. You understand what I'm saying? Catch that shit on fleet, nigga. Look at all this red, 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 red. All we need is an N and you got Dion. You understand what I'm saying? Look at this city. You see that motherfucker? Fire! <laughs> Check it out. Now, the first person that had my um that I read my um child abuse story to was my um niece Dion Nelson. She was the youngest of my niece. You understand what I'm saying? And you know, she started laughing. I don't know if she recognized game or she was just you know, naive at the time to all of the stuff I had gone through and she didn't know how to handle it. Kind of like what I be going through sometimes, you know, when I don't know un or understand. But I believe she knew. Yeah, so this here is the city of Chicago and the mayor back in the day was Hale Thompson. You understand what I'm saying? They go Albert W. Goodrich, fire commissioner, and Michael J. Corrigan was the chief fire marshal. Edward A. Maloney, he was the deputy fire commissioner. And Daniel J. Carmody was the deputy chief fire marshal. And Andrew S. Galipsy was the department inspector. You understand what I'm saying? But that Richard W. Woofy is the commissioner of public works. But look at the Paul. You see the Paul? Let me see. You see the pole? See, this is why I get up. Because I be wanting to learn about my city too. I was working so hard, I never had the time to figure it out. Yeah, 1928. City uh, architect. But you could tell the red-blooded Americans are the one that run this city just by the bench. You see the bench, right? You know what I'm saying? That's why I like these motherfuckers and shit. 
But every time I find this popcorn, it either be stale or some drama to it. They'll charge me a dollar for two, you know what I'm saying, with no tax if I don't take the receipt. But if I take the receipt, they want to charge a person like myself, a Native American, tax. Now, back in the day, on everything I loved when I was a little, you know, bad, not that bad. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't going to even tell that story. I'm going to tell a story about when I used to pay, you know, for candy at the store with just a dollar. And anything else I wanted when I was, you know, younger, now they charge a nigga tax. I just left this store called uh, El Baraka. So, there go your, you see that? They didn't want to give me the receipt with the heading on it. Because they know I'll be on my money, for real. It's located 7300 South Shore Drive. Have a blessed day. If I get pregnant off this popcorn, everybody named mama gonna pay for this shit. For real. Now, they charged me a dollar and two cents because I wanted the receipt with the heading on it. You understand what I'm saying? But this receipt, he tried to snatch it back before, you know, before I left, but I snatched it. This is the first one. You can see. He just charged me a dollar, but he took the heading off and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real tough. So I said, shit, for two cents, I take the receipt. I take them both. For real. You understand what I'm saying? So you can see it's the same damn receipt because of the date on here. Gotta go.